Uh oh, what? What? I didn't. Oh, I must have bumped into that. Okay, um, please don't come, neighbor, because I, we're having a party and you're not invited. <laughs> Everybody, I am Kindly Keen, and welcome back to Hello Neighbor Beta 3. Now, in the last episode, uh, we did some exploration, right? We got a hold of the new ghost mode ability, and uh, we explored the outside of the map, and we did discover this very strange poster. That was probably the coolest thing that we found, but there was a lot of other cool stuff. If you didn't see it, check it out. But today, we're getting back to the house and back to the puzzles that are all over this house. And these puzzles, man, they are doozies, but you guys have been helping me out a lot. You've been leaving a lot of tips. So today we're going to be going through a couple of those puzzles. So I think the first thing that we're going to do is this glow puzzle. We had it like halfway right, but we weren't quite there all the way. So uh, actually what we need to do is we need to grab the puzzle. Uh, the puzzle? What am I talking about? We need to grab the globe, which is, uh, no, it's not over there. And I, I, the neighbor's on the stairs, so I don't want to mess around with that. It's over here. Uh, we need to go over here. Come on, get, get up here. Okay, yeah, we need to get to the globe room because we set it down. Goodness gracious, this guy has cameras everywhere this is absolutely insane we need to turn off his camera system i think that we can get to it over here oh my goodness he has cameras absolutely everywhere the maniac the absolute madman okay so what we need to do is we need to freeze the globe a lot of you guys telling me i need to stick the globe in the freezer and this will get us access to an item that is going to be very helpful so we go ahead and stick that in the freezer now i don't know how long we have to put that in there and also I imagine we may actually have to turn that back on. So you know what? We should probably go up the ladder. I don't know where the... Okay, he's going up the ladder. So we're going to take a different route. Um, also, I need an umbrella. I, I could have sworn I saw an umbrella here. I didn't see an umbrella. There's got to be an umbrella around here somewhere. Umbrella! Where are you, Umbrella? I miss you dearly. We're also going to be going into this room and solving the puzzle in there. I know how to do it. Oh, there's a piece of cake. We want to put that in there. We have to collect all of the pieces of cake and all of the mannequins, which I think that I can do. I, I think I can do it if I believe in myself hard enough. Maybe we can pull it off. But I really did want an Umbrella, and I'm not finding an Umbrella. So I hope that we can find an Umbrella at some point. Oh, also this one, this one. Okay, I know that... There's a way to solve this puzzle. There's a number on the other side over here. We need binoculars. Shoot, I should have brought binoculars with me. If we find binoculars, remind me. Just let me know. No, you can't do that because I'm pre-recording this. That would be amazing if you could let me know, but we can't do it that way. But if we do find binoculars, we need to read that number and that basically tells us how to do this. And there is a mannequin over there. Uh Oh, there's not a mannequin over there. You know what that means? I think that means that we have a glitch. Yes, there is a known glitch in this version of Hello Neighbor that makes it so that you basically cannot get all of the mannequins because they don't spawn properly. They just kind of disappear. And I think that's what we've run into. So we may actually have to restart our game, which is a real bummer. All right, guys, so we are back and everything is good now. Everything is where it belongs. I also went back through and I redid all of the puzzles that we did up to this point, which wasn't actually that bad because I knew exactly what to do. So now we need to solve the other puzzles. So there's a lot of puzzles that still need to be solved. And one of the main things, one of the main components to solving those puzzles is the gramophones. Now, I know that we saw the gramophone and I know where the gramophones are. So there's a green gramophone and there's a red gramophone. And you guys have told me those do two different things. The green gramophone makes the plants grow. It makes the trees that are around this, this house grow. And then the red one makes them wilt. It makes them die essentially so that you can walk past them. So we can see some applications for those in the future. Also, I forgot to actually open the basement door, but I'm not gonna worry too much about that because I was able to get the key card uh, yep, there's the key card, so we can do that, and then the, uh, the crowbar is upstairs, I think it's still cooling off, but otherwise, we should be okay. Okay, so one of the first things that I want to do is get the green gramophone, and it is in the room just outside of the moon room, that's right. Okay, so we need to get back up there, 
Um, I think that taking the train tracks is probably going to be our best bet. I also don't have an umbrella. I probably need to get an umbrella, but I'm not going to worry too much about that right now in this moment. I'm just going to try and get this gramophone. And then what we can do is we can use that gramophone to get access to the globe, which I know we already got the globe, but we're basically going back through this process the way that you're supposed to go through it because I didn't really do it the right way before. I just kind of grabbed the globe through the 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 gate I didn't actually go through the gate the right way so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it if you haven't seen it already now uh, oh here's another application for the gramophone um, the red gramophone we need to kill these plants now we already did this we kind of cheated our way past that so I don't know if we need to do that again but we probably will regardless but now let's focus on getting to the moon room yep there it is okay so I should be able to just jump across over there okay there is our green gramophone now now we need to take this into the room with all of those goofy little shooter thingy mabobbers and I think actually it's right there. That's the room that we need to get to. If I had an umbrella, this would all make this process so much easier. Maybe there's an umbrella over here. Get out of here, you stupid chair. Oh, there's a piece of cake. I wonder if we should grab that. You know, we probably should grab that. Ooh, there's also binoculars so we can get that code. Okay, lots of good stuff going on here. Okay, I think there might actually be an umbrella over here umbrella hello umbrella no no umbrella where are all the umbrellas okay I'm not gonna worry too much about this I am gonna jump over here and grab this mannequin because we're gonna need you please don't die okay thank you for coming with me uh, well let's jump down here I know there's an umbrella in here yes there is okay so let's go ahead and just drop these guys down this hatch because this is where these need to ultimately end up. They need to have a party in that room, which is a ton of fun. Mannequins and cake, one of my favorite pastimes. That's a weird hobby, okay. And you can also see the crowbars over here. Still cooling off, uh, we probably just need to let it hang out there for a little while. Um, now what are we gonna do? Um, we need to get to the room on the other, oh no, I haven't done the grocery store. Oh shoot, okay, I'm gonna have to do that real quick. Okay, so we've completed the grocery store minigame, so now we can actually go through here, and this should take us to the room where I want to go, and also, I think that there's a piece of cake in here. <laughs> yeah, there is. Last time we came in here, I didn't know that the cake was important. I actually threw it. I think I threw it out the window. Um, that was probably a bad decision, but our cake is back where it belongs, and actually, we're gonna take this with us. Now, you get to see the gramophone in action here, so we should be able to set this guy down, and then, no, don't do that. I just, I just want to turn it on. No, I don't, I don't want to do that, I just, there we go, okay, so this is the nice happy music that we get in Hello Neighbor, and it makes these trees grow, which ultimately blocks the apples from hitting the switches here, and then I think we need to hit the switches so that they are facing that direction, and then we should be good to go, so we can go ahead and, um, do we have to, do we have to leave this on? Now my question is, do I have to leave this up here? And I don't actually know the answer to that. But I don't know if we need this for anything else. So we're probably fine. So now we can actually grab the globe the way that it's intended to be grabbed. Um, you know what? I didn't get an umbrella. I still didn't get an umbrella. Okay, well that was kind of dumb. But I think that we can go down here. Here. Okay, there's an umbrella for us, and now we should have access to the globe. There it is in all of its glory. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the globe. Now, oh shoot, you know what I need to do? I need to turn the freezer back on. So you know what, I'm gonna drop this cake off in its little new home. Okay, that's nice. And then I'm gonna try and get to the generator that turns the, um, the freezer back on now. Where is that? Okay, it's right above us. So if we make this jump over to the train tracks here. Oh man, we missed it. Shoot. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. We can just set the globe inside of the freezer and then we can go back up and we can turn the freezer back on. So let's go ahead and do that. Drop that guy in there. And then let's go back upstairs. I hear the neighbor. I don't know where he is, but I definitely hear him. So I'm just going to go up the ladder here and this will get us easy access back onto the train tracks. Okay, there's our generator. Let's go ahead and turn this back on. Why, why does it look like it's, it is on? Hey, well, then it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. How, how did it turn back on? I'm very confused right now. I'm very, very confused. Okay, so the globe probably just has to sit in the freezer for a little bit. Um, in the meantime, uh, let's go get that 
that code and let's try to get that other mannequin which I think is right here yep okay so we should be able to no no you stupid train let me out let me out of here no 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 I want out please please let me out oh my goodness what where where are we guys um did we just did we just teleport somehow? I, I believe we did. So let's get back to what we were doing. I got completely mind flooded right there. Lost my train of thought. What was I actually doing? I was trying to get the binoculars here and then check out this code. So let's go ahead and switch to our binoculars. 2369. So that's basically what we need to know in order to get access to this lift over here and press the buttons in the right sequence. So um, I don't think that I need these anymore. So let's go ahead and use those to break the glass over there. And then let's jump and... Oh, man, I thought that we were going to make it, but we didn't quite make it. And now, of course, we have the neighbor to hang out with. You know what? Actually, he can catch us. And this might actually be kind of helpful because um, this might actually freeze the globe for us. Now, remember, we need to remember that code 2369. I think I got it. So we'll come back to that later. Now, let's go ahead and see if our globe is frozen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, the globe's frozen. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have taken it out, though. I probably should have left it there. I hope that it doesn't melt. So now we need to go back to the globe room, which should be pretty easy to get to. I think that if we head... Um, oh, that's not where I want to go. Okay, where's he going? He's going directly where I want to go. Of course he is. That just... That makes perfect sense. Okay, then I guess we're going to go in this direction. This is going to be kind of a roundabout way of getting there, but it should work. It should do the trick. We still have our, our umbrella, so that is very good. I need to get the train going again, though. Like, I don't, I don't want it to, to, to stay like this forever. Oh my goodness. That was actually kind of incredible, and now my controls are, are pretty much broken. My controls are broken. That was bizarre. W wait, am I... Am I outside of the, the map? Can, can I come back, please? <laughs> I'm outside of the map. <laughs> the train launched us outside the map. This is not what I wanted to happen. Can I get back? Please tell me I can get back. We got floating house over here. Things are weird on this side of the map, guys. I don't know how I feel about this. Aw, oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to reset our game, I guess. Okay, everything's okay, and our globe is... Oh, man, it's melting. You can see it melting. That's kind of cool, but um, unfortunately, it kind of ruins our plans. Oh, goodness. Oh, my gosh, this guy is so annoying. Okay, let's see if we can just get in there, throw the globe. Oh, he was right in the front of the door? Really? You're making things hard on me, neighbor. You're making things really, really hard on me. I just want to get this thing in the freezer. Please, just let me do that. Just give me that courtesy. Okay, thank you. Now, while we're waiting for the globe to freeze, why don't we go up here and let's try to get this other mannequin. No, that's not the direction I want to go. This is the direction I want to go. Um, this is the room that we need to get to with the globe. Uh, the room with the, the little thingy mabobber, the globe holder. I don't know what else to call it. And then this is where we actually input the code. Okay, so remember, it's two, three, six... And then nine, right? Yes, okay, that worked. Cool, so now we can actually grab this mannequin. Oh my gosh, this thing moves so fast. Let's try to get on it. Oh, okay, we made it. Get on there. Oh, no, 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 no. We gotta jump, we gotta jump off. Okay, jump! Okay, we made it, we got it. We got our mannequin friend, and then I guess there's a wrench in here. I don't know what the wrench is for. So if you guys know, let me know in the comment section, because I, I knew it was here, but I don't know what to do with it. So we'll just we'll just move along. All right, so let's drop our mannequin friend off at the uh, the party room. Everybody's favorite mannequin party room. Oh, also, our wrench is nice and cooled down, so we can use that to open up the basement for the future. Go ahead and drop this guy in there. So that makes for uh, two mannequins and two pieces of cake. Now, there's still one more piece of cake and then two more mannequins, and I'm pretty sure I know where they are, but I think that we need the gramophone to get at least one of them and actually probably both of them because because in the case of the cake, we have to kind of float into a window that is hard to get to unless you have access to the roof. And then the other mannequin is the same case. We basically have to float into a window where he's hiding. 
Okay, so let's go back to the freezer and see if our globe is nice and frozen yet. We might have to get caught by the neighbor. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, we're good. We're good here. So let's go back to the... No, 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 no. Why do you show up at the most inconvenient times? It's so, so annoying. Okay, I just want to get this globe in its pedestal. That's all I ask. That's all I want to do. Oh, why are you up here? No, you're not supposed to be up here. You're not supposed to be here, neighbor. What is he doing? Why are you so interested in opening and closing that door? This is all very confusing to me. Okay, I'm gonna try to sneak past him. Maybe we can do it. He's very intrigued by that door. Oh man, our globe is free. It's, it's completely thawed. It's totally thawed out. This isn't, this isn't gonna work. Dang it. Okay, we gotta go back. We gotta get back to where we were. All right, globe, you're going back in the freezer once again. Oh, it freezes super, super fast. Okay, that makes things a little bit easier. I didn't realize that it freezes essentially right before your eyes. So let's go back up. Oh, man, I think he's up there, though. I'm a little bit nervous about... Okay, he's not. He's not up here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, get that. And then I think that we just... Do we just click it? We just... Is that what we do? I think that we left click it. And then what it should do, based on what you guys tell me is it should freeze the water at the top of the ladder here. Hopefully the neighbor's not hanging out up here. And this should get us access to the red gramophone. I really hope that this works. Let's get up to the very, very tippy top. And that is still not frozen. That is not frozen water. That did not work. What did I do wrong? I have no idea. I'm just gonna gently float my way back down to the very thawed globe. Yeah, yeah, it's not... It's not frozen anymore. Um, I don't know what I did wrong. Is there some some kind of indicator that should tell me if I if I froze the water or did I just wait too long? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just try again. I hear the neighbor making a lot of weird noises. Oh shoot, he's he's right there. Okay, you know what? Oh my gosh, I can't believe that he didn't notice us. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Also, I forgot that I could do this. So this is actually kind of handy. Okay, so I don't know if I need to like close it in there for a little bit longer. I'm going to try that. Okay, it's been a solid five seconds. So let's go ahead, grab the globe. And okay, he's, he's putting down. No, 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 don't see me. Oh my goodness, he saw us. Well, on the bright side, it's not nighttime anymore. So that's kind of nice. But I do need to get this globe. To, to its its new home. Oh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Okay, get this thing upstairs. Please, please stop chasing me. Oh my gosh, he's right behind us right now. Oh man, he's he is right on our tail. There's no escaping the neighbor. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is put the globe in the freezer and then I'm gonna go up to the top level here and turn off his stupid cameras because this guy's got cameras all over the place and it's driving me nuts. All right, kill the cameras forever. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, there's an umbrella right here. I lost my other umbrella. So let's go ahead and get back to our globe. I don't know what the neighbor's doing right now. I hear him like opening and closing doors. Which doors is he opening and closing? I have no idea. I'm just gonna sneak my way in here and go ahead and grab the globe again and let's give this another shot. Okay, place it on the pedestal. No, in the, get in there. Thank you. Okay, now do we click it? It's not giving me any kind of indicator. Okay, well, let's make a run for it. Let's go upstairs. Oh my goodness. Is, is he around here? I don't know if he's actually around here because I keep getting the weird screen effect like he's right behind me. Oh, yeah, um, he's he's not around here. He's right there. He's on the ladder. Okay, um, how am I supposed to get to the frozen water room now? Everything's all ruined. Okay, you know what? Maybe I can jump over to the train tracks. Oh, I missed it. I, I messed everything up. Everything is ruined now. The globe is probably melted. Everything is ruined. Let's just open up the basement door while we're down here. Get these stupid nails out of here. Oh man, I'm so mad right now. I could just, I could just throw this crowbar across the room. Oh gosh, here he comes. Great. Fantastic. I love this. I love being chased by the neighbor. It's so much fun. Okay, let's go back to our globe that has thoroughly dethawed. So now we have to go back to the freezer. My goodness, this is an absolute mess. What am I doing wrong here? This is insane. Oh gosh, is he here? Oh, he's right behind me. Of course he is. 
Why would I? Why would I ever doubt that he'd be right here? Okay, I'm making a run for it. Hopefully he didn't notice us. Oh gosh, he noticed us. He definitely noticed us. Okay, um, we're gonna just keep running and pretend that he's not directly behind us, but he is. He is absolutely directly behind us. All right, I got my frozen globe in hand. I'm heading back to where we were. Hopefully the neighbor's not hanging out over here. He tends to hang out here a lot. I don't know if it's just because he catches me there a lot. Um, I'm gonna grab this wrench and just click it, okay? And now, we're gonna run back downstairs, and I really hope that he's not on the ladder. Oh my gosh, he is always on the ladder at the most inconvenient times. This is one of the most annoying things I've ever had to do in this game. Why is this so dumb? Okay, oh, what? What, what just happened? I just got like teleported. I don't know. I can't explain anything anymore. I'm just trying to get back to the train station at the top of no I don't want to be in here. Why do you treat me so poorly you stupid game? I thought we were friends. There's no way that the globe is still frozen. There's just no way it's impossible at this point But I'm still gonna try. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I changed my mind. Let's go back to the globe. Okay, back to the globe. Let's try this again before we lose our minds because honestly, this is getting ridiculous. Okay, we're heading back up to the room. We're gonna place the globe and everything is going to be absolutely fantastic. We just drop the globe just like that. Very nice. We click it. I think, I think we click it. I don't know if we actually click it and then we go back downstairs, and we go up the ladder where the neighbor is not, he's there. He is always, always there. Why? Why, neighbor? Why? Okay, I think I gave him the run around here. I really, really hope that we did it quick enough, though. I really feel like the, oh gosh, then that didn't help, but I think the globe already thawed out. Uh, that's not frozen. That's super not frozen water. That's super unfrozen water. So I know it's cheating. But I'm literally on my phone right now looking up YouTube videos on how to get the stupid globe to freeze the water. So just give me a minute. Okay, so I figured it out and I feel real, real stupid. Just really, really dumb. So basically what I was doing wrong is I was, I was putting the globe on the pedestal, but you're not supposed to put it on the pedestal like you place normal items. Like normally, you hold right click and you let go and it drops the item. And that's what I was doing. Apparently, you're supposed to left click into the pedestal because it's like it's designed to fit into that stupid pedestal. So all I had to do was instead of pressing right click to place it in here, was press left click. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's run upstairs and I think that should do the trick. I, I just, I can't. There's, there's just no words that describe the anger that I feel right now. Also, of course, the neighbor is waiting for us. We're at the cusp of final victory, and the neighbor is just hanging out right in the worst spot possible. Gosh, this guy is so annoying. Let's make sure that our globe is, okay, it's still frozen. I think we still got time. I don't know if it actually dethaws when you properly put it inside of the pedestal. So maybe there isn't a timer on, on it anymore. Oh my gosh, I'm getting pushed by the train. I was like, man, I'm running real fast. No, I was actually getting ran over by a train. We're almost there. Victory is ours. Here it comes. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that should not have been that hard, but it was. Okay, grab the red gramophone. Come on, just, you gotta, you gotta jump up there and grab. Why are these shelves so stupid? Why do they make me so angry? Everything is gonna make me angry right now. Oh my gosh, please. Okay, now grab the gramophone. Yes, we have the red gramophone. Finally, my gosh, that was one of the most irritating things I've ever done in this game. I can't believe that it was just something so simple and so stupid. Okay, so now we can use this to get access to the roof. And what basically what we have to do is jump on top of the trolley here at the right time and then use the trolley 
to uh, to jump onto the roof. So where's the best spot to jump onto the? I think right here. So we just need to kind of wait for it. Um, hopefully it'll come around the corner. Just time this right. Oh, I think I jumped too soon. Yeah, I jumped way, way too soon. We'll, we'll get the hang of this. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this. There we go. We got it. All right, now we should be able to jump onto the roof. Okay, very nice. And we still have the gramophone, right? Oh, thank goodness. I was like, maybe I dropped it on accident. I don't know. Okay, so we have finally made it to the roof with the gramophone. We should be able to turn it on. And then, yes, it's very, very loud. But it will kill these plants and allow us to walk across this platform. And then we should be able to get to the ladder on the other side. I don't know if there's anything else over here. But get out of here, you stupid plants. Kill them all. It's such a cool mechanic. I really, really like this mechanic that they added in Beta 3. Okay, there we go. Now we finally have access, and we can also turn off the magnet. However, I want to do that with the gun, so we're going to come back to that. Now let's go up the ladder here, and I also probably want to turn off this music because it is very, very loud. No, 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 no. Don't you dare fall off the ladder. Yes, okay, let's let's turn this off because it is so obnoxious and there is one of our mannequin friends very nice Let's grab I think yes the seed is up here, too So we can plant the golden apple uh, tree once again And so now we basically need one more mannequin and one more piece of cake and the mannequin is in this room We need to break the window on the other side of that room and then the uh, cake is I think I think it's probably directly below us. I think it might be there. Uh, the cake is right next to one of the train stations. I'm trying to get my bearings here. I think it's there. It's right over there. So we need to break the windows first in order to get access to those rooms. So what I think I'm going to try to do is use the apple seed, which was probably a terrible idea. Okay, there it is. I, I was... A little bit worried that I was gonna lose it there, but we're okay. We got the apple seed. Go ahead and grab it. All right, there we go. And then let's drop it in here. And uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll water it so that we can kind of get it on its way. We'll at least get the process started. Come on, fill this thing up. Is it filling up? Yeah, I think it's filling up. I can't actually tell. Let's run back over here. It looks like he turned his camera system back on, so that's that's great news. And let's just water this guy up. Let it grow while we're doing other stuff. Still exploring the house. I don't know if anything has changed about this, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway since we got the seed. Okay, so we got the window open. We just need to get back up to the top of the house, and then we need to open up that window as well. Now, so I guess one of the cool abilities that we unlocked uh, from finishing the grocery store is that we now have, like, super throwing strength. And you can see our screen is kind of blurry. I've been holding down the right click, and if I aim it properly... I should be able to hit that window right there. Okay, so that gives us access to the other piece of cake. So basically, we need to go to the top, float down into those rooms, grab what we need, and then we have everything that we need in order to finish that little party scene. Okay, so we've made it back to the very tippy top of the neighbor's house. Uh, so now we need to jump in this direction and just slowly float on down into that window where the mannequin is hanging out. I think that we should be able to get it just lined up just right. Okay, come on, get it right. Okay, yep, all right, very nice, nice and gentle. There we go, nicely done, well executed. Okay, so we have two mannequins in our inventory now and now we just need to get that last piece of cake and we are well on our way to victory. All right, we're back at the top, and I think that the room is in this direction. Yep, it's right there. So basically, we need to get to the side of that little building right there, and we should see the window. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's just glide our way down into that window. Our trajectory is looking good. Stay on target. Stay on target. There we go. What is... Okay, that's that's weird. I still don't know exactly what it means. It could be alluding to this puzzle here, the cake with the mannequins. I don't actually know, but now we have everything that we need. So let's go back to the party room. All right, we finally made it. Here we go. All right, so we need to place the cake on the plates. Um, 
here's here's the other piece of cake okay just get this guy set up like this i don't know exactly the way this works i don't know if we have to set them up in a certain order or positioning all i know is that they all need to be in this room uh oh what what i didn't Oh, I must have bumped into that. Okay, um, please don't come, neighbor, because I, we're having a party and you're not invited. Okay, get the mannequins up there. Yes. This guy's like that. And let's put one more like this. Get this guy set up just like so. No, 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 don't fall over. I want you to stand up. Oh, I just got an achievement. Shoot him up. Ah, the, the, it opened. Wait. But, oh, there was a gun. That's right. The gun is in there. Okay, so... <laughs> Now we're on to something. Look at the neighbor. He's, you're not invited, neighbor. This is not your party. This is my party. This is my victory party for going through all the stupid puzzles that you've made in this house that drive me absolutely insane, namely the frozen globe puzzle. Get out of here. Never talk to me or my children again. All right, guys. Well, that was... Quite an adventure, but we're making decent progress here in Hello Neighbor Beta 3. I think in the next episode, basically all we have to do is get through the mini games, and we've already done the two mini games that are left, but it'll be nice to unlock those abilities, and then I think it's time to make our way into the basement and finally get to the final boss. So I am really, really excited for that. Keep an eye out for that episode. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Hello Neighbor. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.